First things first, Jimmy Johnson is and will forever be one of the greatest drivers in NASCAR history. One might make the argument that Johnson is the best driver in NASCAR history. He has won a record 83 cup races and a tie for the most titles in the sports premier division with seven. Jimmy Johnson is a bonkers race car driver. Seriously, the former driver for Hendrick Motorsports is 47 years old, he's in the running for the title of NASCAR's greatest of all time, and his statistics put him ahead of the majority of drivers from the sport's history, as well as the drivers of today and tomorrow. In addition to that, he has raced in endurance competitions, and he has also had a brief but successful career in IndyCar. So why is Jimmy Johnson back in NASCAR again? Simple. He loves racing. He loves NASCAR. And NASCAR loves him back. That's why the seven-time cup champion announced his return to the main stage in a different role. However, this was not a reunion with Hendrick Motorsports, but a tie-up with fellow seven-time cup champion Richard Petty. The best part is that not only is he a part owner of the Petty GMS Motorsports team, but he will also be racing. And now, as his return to action comes near, Johnson has begun work for the next chapter in his ridiculously impressive career. Since Petty GMS Motorsports is also a Chevrolet-affiliated team, it has made the transition smoother. It would also give the fans a chance to see Johnson compete in the Truck Series once again. After the 2020 season, Johnson left NASCAR and retired from full-time racing. Since then, he has competed in two NTT IndyCar Series seasons. Now the driver will be back in NASCAR next season, this time with a different team. The former Hendrick Motorsports star will compete in the 2023 Daytona 500 when the season kicks off. Of course, he will be without his iconic number 48 number as Hendrick Motorsports has transferred it to Alex Bowman. Aside from the Daytona 500, Johnson will also race in other select events, the particulars of which are yet to be confirmed. Moreover, if rumors are to be believed, that is not going to be his only racing gig, as someone else has been eyeing Johnson. Petty GMS Motorsports chairman Richard Petty appeared on the Outside Groove podcast last week and spoke about Johnson's 2023 plans. He mentioned that the former driver will participate in five races for the team, beginning with the season-opening Daytona 500. He later said that he is looking towards a big year with Jimmy Johnson and Noah Gregson. Petty said, Jimmy's going to run five races for us, starting at Daytona. That's going to give us a third car from time to time. He'll have to make the races which he shouldn't have any trouble doing. He continued, We're looking forward to really a big year. With Jimmy coming on and Noah Gregson, I think we've got a heck of a lineup of drivers. It is possible that the 47-year-old will take part in the truck series for the second and final time in his professional career. It has come to light that Kyle Busch recently dropped a hint that he would attempt to convince Jimmy Johnson to drive for Kyle Busch Motorsports. The year 2008 marked Johnson's farewell to the truck series in which he had raced for the previous decade. While driving the number 81 truck for NFL Hall of Famer Randy Moss at the Bristol Motor Speedway, he finished the race in 34th place overall. If the rumor turns out to have some basis in fact, then it would indicate that he was taking turns driving with both Jack Wood and Bush. The alliance was only feasible because Bush agreed to join Richard Childress Racing for the 2023 Cup Series season. The result of this was a strengthening of his links with Chevrolet, and he also brought Kyle Busch Motorsports into the equation. During the 2023 Cup season, Petty GMS Motorsports will field two full-time cars, the number 42 Chevrolet, which will be driven by Noah Gregson instead of Ty Dillon, and the number 43 Chevrolet car, which will be driven by Eric Jones. There has not yet been an announcement made regarding Johnson's car or the sponsors for his upcoming limited schedule. Whether or not Johnson will use number one as his racing number is, of course, one of the most pressing concerns. In spite of his track record, he cannot use the number 48 because Alex Bowman already has it in his possession. Additionally, the Hendrick Motorsports team is the owner of that number, and they have no plans to give it up in the foreseeable future. Now that that's out of the way, the most pressing issue is to determine which number Johnson will use. Regarding this particular matter, the Petty GMS Motorsports team made the decision to play a little game with the fans. They dropped a small riddle, suggesting the number that he should use for the upcoming campaign. The ploy worked, and it wasn't long before it went viral. The recommendation made by Petty GMS Motorsport was that he should drive with the number 74. On the other hand, Johnson tried to refute that by offering his own suggestion, which was number 75. His claim was supported by the fact that he was born in 1975, hence he put it, that was my move. Naturally, a statement like that might mean anything, and this is just his method of toying with his audience by playing with their expectations. It will be interesting to see which number he chooses to use regardless of what decision he and the team come to. There is no question that an announcement might perhaps be made in the near future in which the team will confirm his racing number. 
A second question that must be asked is whether or not his absence from the NASCAR Cup Series for two seasons will have an effect on him. After all, it's possible that he's never driven a next-gen car before, whereas the other drivers have become comfortable with the new technology. Before calling it quits in full-time Cup Series racing at the end of the 2020 season, Jimmy Johnson had spent the previous two decades with the Hendrick Motorsports team. He has competed in the IndyCar Series for Chip Ganassi Racing for the previous two years, and at the end of the 2022 season, he finished 21st place in the championship standings. The 47-year-old driver made the announcement that he would be retiring from full-time racing overall at the end of the season in September. He will now shift his focus to competing in events that are on his bucket list. Johnson said, This was a difficult choice for me, but in my heart I know it's the right one. I'm not exactly sure what the next chapter holds, but if an opportunity comes along that makes sense, I will consider it. I still have a bucket list of racing events I would like to take part in. Even though all of this sounds amazing in theory, having one of only two living seven-time champions back in the mix is nothing but excellent for NASCAR. Johnson is completely kidding himself if he expects to win another race or even be reasonably competitive. Due to the remarkable success that Jimmy Johnson achieved over the great majority of his 19-year stint as a full-time NASCAR Cup Series driver in the Cup Series, it is easy for most people, and maybe especially for Jimmy Johnson himself, to forget exactly how much Jimmy Johnson suffered over his final three and a half seasons in NASCAR's premier division. Everyone who follows NASCAR would enjoy watching Johnson compete in the Truck Series. It would be a lot of fun. After two seasons away, Johnson's future in NASCAR was uncertain for a while. It will be interesting to see how Jimmy Johnson does in NASCAR following his return to the series. However, one thing could be said with absolute certainty. Beginning to end, it would not be an easy task. At the beginning of the season, the seven-time winner will make their first effort to qualify for the Daytona 500. If he were to fall short of the expectations, it probably wouldn't look very good. So what are you expecting? Are you looking for eye-popping results from Johnson when he hits the track in 2023, beginning with the season opening Daytona 500? Expectations will definitely be high. Let us know in the comments below.